Like, there's no way this is gonna be a thing that goes well for me. I'll do that after that puzzle. Yeah, I don't trust this at all. Yeah, cool. Rare word of puzzle. Are we supposed to stay on top of the maze? This guy being up here kind of think makes me think yes. South Lome Labyrinth. Come on, no, go to your next weapon, you fool. What do we want to kill this guy with? Whatever, just kill him. No, don't knock him off the edge, though. <sighs> He's like for sure going off the edge. No, he didn't even die. Dadgum it, man. That makes me upset. What's the point of the labyrinth here? And there's a ton of enemies in here, clearly. Or it seems like it, at least. There aren't even, like, sky watchers or anything. Oh, it's down there. Okay. So it all comes down to whether or not I can find the way without going through the whole labyrinth. Well, that does not look like the way. Though there is a weapon down there. I can't see it. Dagamut. What is it? I don't want to jump down there and it be garbage. Yeah, whatever. Crud. I think the whole labyrinth part is underneath the top of this. It's like there's no point in staying up here. Yep, and the blessing awaits you at the labyrinth's end. That's fine. I didn't think we were gonna be able to get through that at the top anyways. Just hoping I could. There's gonna be so many enemies though, no. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet for a lot of this just so I can easily cut it out. How much is this stuff gonna hurt me? Ah! Uh, golden claymore, it's garbage. That thing just eats your health. Are you kidding me? Dude, I'm so good! Dilamog! I did it. I did it. I basically skipped right to the end of the stinking shrine. Man. Okay, so just go in like to the left and a little past it, and then boom. Easy peasy. Oh dear. That's fantastic. That said, I definitely missed a ton of loot. So, you know. Give and take. Oh, we got the good loot, which is this. Yeah! Fantastic. So we could have like two attack up just passively if we wore that armor all the time. I don't know how good we can upgrade it though, in terms of like defense value. Because I think going high defense, well, I don't know. It depends on how the, like, damage modifiers apply. Because if the 50% from food does more for you, like, overall, I think having attack would be better. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, hey, we can, uh... Let's go ahead and try that. That thing. This. Oh, it does not last long at all. Dadgummit. Uh, yeah, that does not last long at all. Oh, I feel like I nailed the timing on that. Got him. Crap. Let's make him drop his weapon. Got him. Oh, the electricity doesn't even apply. If you, uh, hit him like that. Dude, dragon bone. That does a lot of damage for a spear. <laughs> I don't know why the heck I'm doing this fight right now. No, what the heck am I doing? Don't do that. I need the icy sword. There we go. 
If you hit things, they just start sliding like crazy like that. Get him. Oh my goodness. We're good, kind of. Sapphire, okay. It's really not worth it to try to kill silver, guys. Dude. Ah. And... Come on. Boom. Yeah, ha ha ha. Oh, I added an extra ha. Ah, you fool. No, we're good. Okay, girl time. And do do, do do, and do do. He resist. Nice. I'm gonna just walk into this place heavily armed. No worries at all, because I am a girl. For sure. It would be a different story if someone gave me ten pieces of flint. Luckily, I've been hunting rocks forever. Off camera, I always go after him. Boom, flint. Uh, what? what? You're just giving these to me? Yeah. Oh, Zarkso, I guess that's thanks. But I can't take this all from you uh, with just a thanks. We hardly know each other. The shop's been closed so long, I hardly have any inventory. Oh, of course. Now that I have some flint, I could make jeweled accessories if you're interested. Um, let's see. I don't know what each of these do, so let's go Sapphire. So, oh, heat resist. You tell me. Okay. No. You're good. Um, yeah, Ruby, what does that do? Cold resist. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> oh, I thought you might pick that one. Please, give me a moment. This is good. So now we have two pieces of stuff that can resist cold. Brand new, especially for you. I think it turned out really well. Oh boy, jewelry. Um, harnesses the power of fire to make cold climates bearable. Three armor with that too, nice. <laughs> Thanks to you, I got the shop running again. So if you ever need an accessory, come over for a special discount. Whoa, just don't tell my other customers. Oh yeah. No, I like the other voice better. It's easier to do. Okay, I'll let her walk in there, but I think there's a piece of diamond jewelry she can make that I want, like a lot. Oh, there's a ton of it. What do these do? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Swim speed. Guardian resist. See, that's one I really want. Cold resist. Heat resist. Shock resist. Ugh. Swim speed. What the heck is the point of that one? Four? Maybe it's just extra armor compared to the other ones. I mean, this one's also four, though. 1,500 in labor. I'll take it. 1,500 rupees. I hope I can upgrade these. Because having some guardian resist at this point would be very nice. Whoa. Oh, may you have the protection of that gem. Whoa. Okay. So the barbarian stuff takes Lionel. Delios. Oh, it takes diamonds to upgrade every single time. Diamond and flint, that's kind of random. Seven armor, though. And guardian resist. I don't know what that does for me. But whatever. It takes a Lionel horn for both of them? Just one, even. Huh. Okay, cool. I'm gonna upgrade all this mm -hmm. real quick. It takes four diamonds for the next level and 12 armor. I mean, 12 armor is... That's equal to the Helian stuff at third stage. Jeez, that might be like soldier's armor levels protection on top of the guardian resist up. Huh. Man. All that hunting I did off camera. Oh. <laughs> I need to kill more Lionels, I guess. They're so hard to kill, though, mm -hmm. and they take so many resources. <laughs> it's rough, man. I don't think, I don't think you can even make them drop their weapons. That'd be too easy. Shota Saw Shrine. Yeah, and there are a ton of ore deposits around here. Man, that looks horrible. I mean, the barbarian armor looks super cool, but not with the stealth armor blue. Oh no. I know what this is. Dang it. Have to like carefully stinking. Nope. Goodbye. Oh. Oh, I'm good. Wow. Dude, I'm a pro. 
Oh. Now is it gonna go over or under? Probably under, right? Oh yeah, okay. Is that it? Really? Oh, it launches it behind. Gotcha. There's a key. There's like nothing else in this entire lake though. That I could see at least. I get ya. Whoops. That was not what I meant to do there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I learned a trick watching um, a speedrun of this. I'm not going to be speedrunning anytime soon, but... And... Boom. What? Oh, I know what's up. Anyways, um, you can use the bomb just to change the direction. Dang it, man. <laughs> I always throw the thing. You can use the bomb just to change the direction that it's going to explode in. And that's how they, like, speed run into the castle itself. I wonder if I can't do this just with the bombs. Because I'd rather not waste my sledgehammer. Even though I know where a ton are. I mean, that's a fair bit of thrust anyways. Boom. Perfect. I wonder if I have to roll. I do. Okay, good thing I checked. This is actually a good time to test. <laughs> can I do that? Blow it up. I don't think I can get up there in time if I do this. Nope, I can't. I can. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we launched so stinking high. Oh my goodness. We cut it a little close there, but... <laughs> oh, ooh, imagine missing it there. Dang, you can get some height on that. Eightfold blade with long throw. I guess it's one-handed. That's like as good as its soldier sword. Pretty bad, honestly. Oh well, whatever. Hmm. So I'm doing this a lo little bit differently than last time, right? Oh, I missed anyways. Basically, I have found out that you can just crouch through this little spot. So if you do it right, you won't have to use any weapon durability. However, I did not do it right. Oh, what? I thought I had plenty of room for melee weapons. Uh, we'll get rid of this for now. Dude, Moonlight Skin Tar is better. Boy, this outfit looks horrible. <laughs> it's just thrown together. It's so bad. It's better with that, but the bandana, whew. It's hard to match the bandana with anything. Okay. So yeah, this is the something something shrine that I didn't read. The Zekesho. Okay. Dang. I'm, a, I'm just a pro. I don't know what to say. Well, sometimes, man. Oh, there's more. Okay, I was gonna say. Too easy. What does this do? Aha. Come on, my dude! Oh. It doesn't, like, throw me onto the ledge. <laughs> it's dead going. No, no matter how many campfires they put, it can't make an updraft in here. It's out of everything. I genuinely just missed that time. <laughs> it should have been that easy the first time. I don't... Oh, uh, it's not gonna be worth it. Let me guess, like an opal. Ah, eh, durability up, spear. I mean, I guess that's... 
it's not even good for anything, really. But, whatever. I have to take it, because, uh... <laughs> I spent too much effort trying to get this to work. Get out of here, stinking axe. What is this, like some Plinko Garbo? Come on, sir, go on. Don't. Come on. Boom. Thank goodness. Got arrows for me, sir. He just fell down. Sorry. Oh, could that be another energetic rhino beetle? I can find these things so often, man. Here you go. Yeah, yeah. I don't even want his stupid fairy thing. It's not worth my bi rhino beetle. But whatever. He just keeps bugging me about it. Uh, okay, what have you got? G give me arrows. Yes. Ooh, a fireproof lizard, too. I think we're gonna need that, so. Gotta keep an eye out for fireproof lizards, too. Is there gonna be down there? No. It's like this way, still. Oh, that looks like the kind of area. For oh, it's right here. Nice. <laughs> Ta Mool Shrine. Nice. We've really only done like 30 of these things, which is kind of surprising because it feels like it's been quite a few, but I guess that puts us a quarter quarter of the way there. And I haven't really been actively going after all the ones I see. So yeah, I guess it's fine. Passing the flame. Sure wish I had a flame weapon here, but whatever. How about a torch? Want to give me a torch? I'd be kind of surprised if they don't give me a torch. Looks like they don't give me a torch. Luckily, I have a spear. It is a wooden chest. Let's go ahead and try that, just in case. Well, I broke it. <laughs> I don't feel like these are normal here, either. Oh, you gotta throw it, Link. What you doing? Nope. There's two chests over there, even. Something ain't right. Do I really just have to burn that? I mean, it'll knock it down, but it won't knock it over here. Oh! Wow. That's some detail there. I guess I'm going over. Wow. Okay. That's kind of impressive. <laughs> this better be something good. I figured, oh, there's no point in me burning the wall down because it'll just knock the chest down. Man. Ruby. Okay. Honestly, you could have swapped the Ruby and the Stone Smasher. I'm just saying. Good one, though. That was- I really liked that. That was actually like a good puzzle bit right there. Okay, give me your soul. 